Bridges Scarlet Leaves is a novel that begins in the fall of 1941 in Los Angeles. At the center of the story is Maddie Kern, a Caucasian violinist who, in spite of society's views and family's wishes, secretly elopes with her Japanese-American boyfriend. The next morning, Pearl Harbor is bombed and their lives are turned completely upside down. Eventually, Maddie's husband, Lane, is evacuated to an internment camp known as Manzanar in the barren desert of Eastern California. But refusing to be separated from him, Maddie chooses to voluntarily live in the camp as well, though she quickly learns that she doesn't belong in either world. And Lane, of course, feels the same about himself. So to prove his allegiance to America, he joins the military intelligence service which was a secret branch of the U.S. Army responsible for code-breaking and interrogating against Japan. In doing so, he soon finds himself on the front lines in the Pacific where he literally risks being shot by either side. It's through these journeys that both Maddie and Lane come to realize the truth of what we label the enemy, and by the story's end, really all of the characters in their search for identity will discover where their loyalties truly lie. The idea for Bridges Scarlet Leaves first started with an actual account of two brothers during World War II. One had fought for Japan and the other for America. While I was researching the subject, I happened across a very brief mention of roughly 200 non-Japanese spouses who lived in the relocation centers by choice. Being half Japanese myself, I was shocked. I had never heard of this before. Immediately, I knew it was a story I had to tell. And after interviewing some amazing veterans and taking a pilgrimage to the man's and our internment camp, I realized how important it is that this part of American history isn't forgotten. Not just for the obvious reason of avoiding making the same mistakes, but for the incredible stories of endurance and hope that come out of even the worst of circumstances. Mm -hmm.